Hello, and welcome to my very first LP ever. I am Durgan, also known as Mystic Dragon 234 I decided that I would start LPing because it looks like it would be pretty fun to do, I guess. So, I'm going to do Spyro the Dragon, as you can probably tell by the screen right now. It's pretty much my favorite game ever, so hopefully I can do this and like actually do it and not stop halfway through like I do with most things. So I guess we should, whoop, it went into demo mode. <laughs> I talk too much, I guess. Okay, I shall be starting now. Okay, I did not have this many. Already going. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganorp character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nord is a simple creature. Them all. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon King. No threat! Besides, he is an ugly bad dozen. Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> I think someone needs anger management classes, actually. The adventure begins! So, as you can see, it's a, pretty much a free-going game. You can go in any direction you want. I guess I better go over controls first. Okay, so to charge, you press square. That's good against enemies that have shields or metal armor. You press X to jump. And whoop. If you press X again you can glide, which is good to get over gaps and stuff. Uh circle is to flame stuff with the fire. This is a dragon. That's it's pretty much useless use fire on metal enemies because they're metal. Uh, triangle, you can move around. Do -do -do. R1 and L1, you can do this little whoop, roll thing. And R2 and L2, you can spin the camera. Pretty simple controls. The currency is these gems, although you don't actually buy anything with them, you just collect them. And enemies like this one drop them. So, pretty straightforward, I guess. Okay, die! Stupid milk thing. Do -do -do. So, what you wanna. But the objective of the game is to collect as much treasure as you can and free all the dragons and beat the bosses. So here's the first one. Big dragon, Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spider. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nord? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Yes, Spyro, if you beat the boss now, then what's the point of playing the game? Go on. So I guess I'll just go through this uh, first home world. This is Artisan's home. And I'll get all the treasure. I'm going to do this 100%. Like, like 100% run through of the whole game. I can actually beat this entire game 100% in 4 hours. I've timed it. Pretty awesome. I'm, I'm that good. So I'm getting some lag on the recording. So it might not be as good as it should be. Wow, I got there on the first try. Usually this jump right here 
it's it's sometimes difficult to do for me for some reason, but yeah. It's like that. But yeah. Okay. There's a lot of enemies around. These ones you can just either charge or flame them. And they run away from you, as you can see. Do do Get the gems. Oh, the little dragonfly dude. Right there. Use your hit point counter. And he can be hit three times when he's gone. If you get hit again, then you die. Which is very good. I have a cold right now, so hopefully I don't sound too terrible. But yeah. Um, oh wait, I'll go this way first. Oh, you can get kill sheep. And there's sheep, there's chickens around different places that you kill them and they have butterflies and that's what the little dragonflies do the dragons the, the dragonflies name is sparks and yeah if he eats the butterflies he'll change he'll recover some of his hit points he turns from yellow to blue and then green and then if you get hit pretty sure most people already know how to play this game but oh well I will tell you how to play it anyway another dragon Argus. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. So yeah, you can pretty much go beat the boss as soon as you like go through a whole level. But I don't do that because what's the point of that if you do that? I mean, it's more fun just doing all the levels and then going to the boss. I think anyway. Delbin! Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! God, I already told you guys how to do that! He's just repeating everything I say. That's just terrible. I find it funny how the dragon statues are like sitting and none of the dragons are ever sitting. They're either like standing on two legs or just standing on four legs, hunched over. But they, 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 they don't even look like that. Their wings aren't that big and stuff. Do -do -do. Thomas! Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. <laughs> Spyro ain't afraid of nothing. He's freaking dragon. He torch you. Torch you good. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies that'll run away from you in the first few levels of these. They get harder after a while, and there are some levels that will just like anger you so much. Not so much me, because I've beaten this game at least 400 times. I'm not even exaggerating. I love this game so much. I don't even know why, because it, it's, it's kind of repetitive, I guess, the game, but, um, I don't know, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do... I wonder how many more gems I need to get. I'll probably do, like, one episode every- oh crap, whoops. <laughs> that was a fail. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'll probably do one episode for every level, unless, like, I complete- bleh, complete a level- I can't even talk now. Unless I complete a level within, like, five minutes of going into it, then I will just be doing one level per episode, I guess. And I'll probably- I don't know when I'll put episodes up. Really, just whenever I feel like it, or whenever I have time to, because I have other duties and stuff that I gotta do. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Eee. Um. How much more? Oops. A few more. I have all the dragons in here already. It's pretty good. Um, right this way. 
Hopefully I can make this entertaining and not be boring. Cause that would suck. I don't want to be boring, I want to be awesome. And there we go, I have completed the very first little level thingy. Well, the home world, but still, it's still a level. You talk to this guy once you have... Wait, what does he want? If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. I don't even know what these guys are supposed to be. They're just like a dude standing there with a friggin... Like... It's a scarf. Okay. Yeah, it's a scarf around his face. He's probably like a Nork. But a good Nork, I guess. Because there are those. There, there are those. Like in, 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 the, in the second game. But we'll get to that one. I actually get to the second game. Because I'm going to do all three of the games. Because I'm that good. But yeah, that was the first level. Um, to save, you can just go over to a dragon pedestal, stand on it, and listen to the fairy lady. You can save, or you can even watch the dragon again, what he says and everything. So I will save. So yeah, this has been the first episode of Let's Play Spiral the Dragon. I am Durgan, and I hope that you will be watching the next episode whenever I post it. I'll probably at least have one a week, probably more than one a week, but it depends on if I have time to do so. Even though, I'll probably be even recording more than one episode at a time, because the levels aren't that long, really. Most of them, anyway, because I'm, I'm really good at them. So, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.